Hello, my YouTube friend. Boy, do I got a lot of pops to go through today. I just been trading and buying. Moving season's about over now. And I'm just backed up with a lot of pops. So I'm going to be doing two or three videos and just trying to get through all these deals. It's nothing like big, no major big deals. It's just a lot of these 5 to 20 pop trades that I've made the last few months. And uh, it's time to go through them, pull out what I want, and put a bunch in my store. And then once I catch up on all this, I'm hoping to start pursuing a couple of bigger collections soon because I would like to just have a big resupply into my shop. Because to me, big collections are fun to buy. Okay, let's start digging into these boxes. Okay, this first box comes from a young man named Alex. He traded these in probably like two months ago. Uh, I've been meaning to film them and they just I get so busy. Moving season is chaotic. I got people coming at least one to three people every day with some days it's like just a train of people all day long and i just i get tired but it's a lot of fun and i'm kind of happy now to kind of catch up on everything <laughs> okay let's start going through these pops uh his pops were all a little bit beat up so i had to give him a little bit less than i normally pay i think i ended up giving him around 80 85 dollars for everything all right let's go through the box I think most of these are duplicates, so most of it's going into the shop. So we have the Chef from South Park. We have Danny Torrance from The Shining. I don't know if I have Danny, actually. He might actually be the last one I need. Maybe I have him. I don't remember. <laughs> I love The Shining. I feel like, I know I'm missing the twins, the chase version of them, but I think I have all the commons. Okay, next we have the Winter Soldier. He is super cool. We have the Jack Torrance from The Shining. Awesome pop. We have Dustin from Stranger Things. I actually, I had a collection of, oh, 30 or 40 Stranger Things come in like a month ago. And I sold them all. It was perfect timing. I'm not sure if they're going to sell as well now because it's past the season. But I got the collection right as the season came out and everyone was buying them up. Uh, all right, we have a Cartman from South Park. This one is a bit dinged up. It's like a big ding on there. Stuff like that. I'm gonna, you know, normally I'd probably sell them for ten. With the ding, I'm gonna have to do like six ninety nine, seven ninety nine, something like that. Uh, oh, cool. Okay, we have the Walgreens exclusive Punisher. Love this pop. Very cool pop. Now he's got a little bit of damage. I think he actually got him from me, but since he got him, it's been damaged. So the price originally sold for seventeen, and the price is gonna be lower than that. Uh, okay, we have a Jack Skellington for the Nightmare Before Christmas. Love this. He's in like the Day of the Dead painting. That is cool. Uh, okay, we have a Steve Wynn Bandana Hot Topic exclusive. It's very cool, Bob. That will sell. I mean, I sold them so quick. I really need more Stranger Things. Okay, we have a uh, Will from Stranger Things. We have uh, a Zombie Kenny. This one, this one's damaged. I'm going to have to probably sell that one cheaper, too. Okay, we have a Ike Broflowski <laughs> from South Park. I don't know if I said that right. Pretty sure I have all of those. Uh, okay, we have the Cop Cartman. This one I actually might need. That might be one of the last ones I need from that set. So that's not too bad. Okay, we have a uh, Wendy Torrance. Very cool. Love The Shining. Uh, we have a uh, Jonathan from Stranger Things. I might be missing one from this wave. I have to double check that one. We have a Lucas from Stranger Things. We have, okay, we have the Captain America Iron Man Devil Set. This set's cool. I think this one has gone up in value since I bought it. I have to double check that one. Uh, okay, so that's everything in that box. I mean, by the time I'm done doing all these haul videos, I'm going to be drowning in pops. <laughs> it's probably going to take me a few days to sort through everything. But that's the plan. I want to get all these hauls filmed and then spend like two or three days just sorting through and getting all the duplicates and get everything into the shop. Also, I think we're moving season slowing down and I'm not going to be buying as much. It'll give me more time to actually list some on Macari as well, which I'm hoping to do in the next month or so. Uh, okay, these are more from the same collection. So you have a President Snow. We have a PETA. I think I have this full set. I don't think there's anything I need from the Hunger Games. We have a Stan from South Park. Might need Stan. I feel like the South Park, I'm missing a couple pops. Uh, we have 11 with Egos. I think he got this one for me as well because that was my price tag, but it does look like it got damaged since I sold it. Uh, ooh, we have the Unmasked Black Panther. That one's cool. 
We have uh, Carl Grimes where he's wearing the zombie gut covered uh, poncho or whatever you call that. That one is actually pretty cool. And then we have, uh, oh, Jason Voorhees. Jason Voorhees always sells. That's cool. I mean, the box is a little bit damaged, but I put that out for $8.99. Someone's going to snap it up. Okay, and then we have the Punisher. And then finally, we have a Sasha. Very cool. I need to work on my Walking Dead set a little bit. I think I'm still missing a couple of key pieces. Okay, so that's awesome. So that's everything from Alex. Ooh, okay, I got a lot of stuff from different people. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to do a single pop. Let me take that down. Okay, so this was a trade from Indranil. He traded it in. I gave him $25 store credit, which was near the full value. I think the full value at the time was like 30 But I figured the price was going to come down because it was a new release. But I was happy to give him $25 store credit because I wasn't able to get this on the website when it was listed. So this is cool. It's the 2019 San Diego Comic-Con Gotenks Super Ghost Kamikaze Attack version from Dragon Ball Z. So I'm actually really happy to have that. Uh, okay, we got a couple pops. These come from Timothy. He's actually been coming in the shop lately. Very nice guy. And he's traded a few times. So I think there's a couple different trades here. So we have a white Tiger Zord. It's a Hot Top exclusive. This I'm actually really excited to get. I don't have that one yet. Love the six inch pops. And then I believe this was from him as well. And we have the Vince Gilligan Director Series. That is cool. I do like when they do directors or real people that create things. I think those are awesome pops. This pop and the Tiger Zord I'm keeping though. I need them for my collection. Okay, and then we have this box. This box also comes from Timothy. Oh yeah, and there was some cool stuff in here. I, I think I had half of them and the other half I needed. Okay, so we have the Searcher from Bendy and the Ink Machine. Love this pop. This pop is cool. I like all the pops from this series. I think they just look really neat. We have the Bendy doll. I know I have some Bendy pops, but I think these are all... I think I have this wave, so I probably have this one, but I don't think I have that wave. So the first wave will be for sale in my shop. The second wave, I believe I'm keeping. Okay, we have the Striker from Bendy and the Ink Machine. These are such cool pops. Okay, and then we have uh, Piper from Bendy and the Ink Machine. Love it. I'm drowning in pops already. <laughs> okay, and oh, and they have two strikers. Okay, so if this is a duplicate, then this one will be for sale. I didn't realize there's a duplicate. Okay, and then we have the Alice Angel. It's a GameStop exclusive. This one I don't think I have. Awesome. So happy to get those. Okay, this next little collection, it's six pops. This comes from, I hope I say your name right, Mattis. He just came in uh, this weekend. He's visiting New York City with his wife or girlfriend. And they um, they were doing a lot of Funko Pop shopping. So he had bought a couple of mystery boxes from Toy Tokyo. He was having a fun time. And he brought me all the duplicates that he wanted to trade. So I think he was actually pretty happy with what I gave him. Uh, I ended up giving him, I believe, 75% of the pop price guide price in trade. Okay, so let me show you what I got. Okay, we have a Jonah Ryan from Veep. This is cool. I do not have that one. So definitely keeping that one. It looks like Toy Tokyo had put some newer releases that just didn't sell very well into their boxes. So I thought that was actually cool because I needed them. Okay, we have Sam Mayday Malone from Cheers. This one I actually really want. I want the whole Cheers set. I really liked Cheers growing up. I remember it was just a show I enjoyed watching with my dad. So this is definitely one I want. Awesome. Okay, and then we have... Uh, Drunk Uncle from Saturday Night Live. I might have got this one in the trash collection I just showed a video or two ago. So I actually will keep that one and sell the beat up one. Okay, sweet. That makes me happy. Okay, and then we have a uh, Joey Fatone from NSYNC. I, I like this one. I, I'm not a big NSYNC fan, but I think Joey's done some funny things recently. I kind of want to get the whole set. I do like Pop Rocks. I don't even, if it's an artist I don't like, I still like it because it's music related. So that's definitely a set I'm happy to get. That's cool. Okay, and then we have the Mary Jane from the Spider-Man video game. This one I do have already, but this one I do love. I love how she's holding the little Spider-Man plushie. Awesome pop. And then finally, the cool pop that he got is the Super Saiyan Vegeta. It's a Toy Tokyo exclusive. He actually got another really awesome Toy Tokyo exclusive in another mystery box. 
So he actually came back and traded that in a couple days later. So that'll be another video. But for now, I'm really happy to get that. I actually don't remember if I ended up getting this one. That one I might have missed out. So that one I actually might need. All right, so super awesome. I I'm really happy with this trade. He's cool. And if I do have him, I mean, he'll sell really easily. Dragon Ball Z stuff is like gold. It just sells really quick. Uh, okay, we have another box. This is a box of pops that come from Timothy. He, like I said, he traded it a few times. This one, I gave him $72 store credit. So again, it was like 75% of the pop price thing. So we have a Sisters Location Baby. I don't remember if I have Baby. I'm pretty sure I have it, but I'm going to double check that. Uh, Snowball from Rick and Morty. Pretty sure I have that one as well. These are all in really good shape, which I'm happy about. Okay, we have a Funtime Foxy from Sister Locations. That one I'm pretty sure I have. We have uh, Omega from Fortnite. I think I have all the Fortnite ones now. It might be one or two newer releases that I'm missing, but this whole set I'm pretty sure I have. Uh, oh, okay, from It we have Mike Callen. I don't have this one yet. I was just saying in a video or two ago I need to get more of the It Pops. So I'm actually really happy I get that. That's cool. Okay, next we have The Neighbor from Hello Neighbor. Pretty sure I have that one. We have a, a Hot Top exclusive Diku. I think I have this one. I think I'm just missing the one where he's like surrounded by energy. I still have to get that one. I'm looking forward to the next wave. I just, it looks like they're gonna be hard because everyone's like pre ordering them. So by the time they come out, it's gonna be impossible to get them. And I don't really like pre ordering. Okay, we have Ragnarok from Fortnite. Cool looking pop. Okay, we have Raven from Fortnite. Another cool looking pop. And then we have a drip from Fortnite. Do really like all these Fortnite pops. I think they're cool. I think they're getting a little bit harder to sell, but I still appreciate them because I do like the game. Okay, and then we have a glow in the dark, dark Vanguard. Very cool pop. I love pops that are in helmets or in uh, like spacesuits or anything like that. So I think she's really cool looking. Okay, so that's everything that I traded that time with Timothy. I think there's maybe one more. Okay, we got another tray here. This is from Kyle. He just traded these in a couple days ago. He wanted part cash, part trade. So I believe I gave him 45 trade and $30 cash. Okay. And I, it was some pretty cool stuff. So we have the GameStop exclusive Alex Armstrong. Really love this pup. I do have that one though. So I'll go in the shop. But I don't mind getting extra really cool anime stuff because it always sells. Uh, okay. We have the Hot Top exclusive Swing Time Happy from Fairy Tale. This one I do not have. So I'm actually really happy to get that going into the collection. And then next we have the FYE exclusive trap draw from Masters of the Universe. That one I do have. And then we have the 2014, I think. No, 2015 New York Comic Con exclusive TIE Fighter pilot. I, I love the sticker this year. I think that just, when I see that sticker, it just looks like a great con sticker. Not a super valuable pop, but I just, I love getting anyone from that year. <laughs> Okay, this is cool. We have the Black and White Colossal Titan from Attack and Titan. It's a FYE exclusive. This one I do have, so that one will go into the shop. He's super cool, though. And then finally, from Dragon Ball Z, we have the Golden Shenron, which every time I get it, it sells really quick. So I'm sure this one will sell quick as well. Very awesome pop, though. I do love it. And I, that's why it sells really quick, because it's super awesome. Okay, very cool. So that's everything from Kyle. Let's see. Okay, one more box to end this video. It's a box from Chris. It looks like I gave him $110 store credit for it. Oh, and there's some fun stuff in here. Nice. Okay, so we have the Pillsbury Doughboy. It's a Funko Shop exclusive from the 12 Days of Christmas. Uh, I do like when I get collections with protectors on them because I end up taking them off the ones I sell and, and then putting them on the ones I'm going to keep. So he's super cool. I do have that one. So that's going into the shop. I'm sure it's going to be in high demand. Uh, next, we have the Mega Man Quick Boomerang version. It's a GameStop exclusive. This one I have as well. Right. Super cool, though. I do like that one. I always think they're not going to sell, but they end up selling, so that's cool. We have the Common Mega Man. This one I do have. I do like when they make pops on retro games, though. So that's Mega Man's awesome. Super classic. Uh, okay, next we have Rush from Mega Man. I actually might be missing this one. I feel like I'm missing one or two from the set. So I'm actually happy to get this. Super cool. I'm gonna double check though, I could be wrong. I might be sitting there in my collection. Uh, okay, next we have a Claudine Wolf from Monster High. Love this pop. I wish they did more Monster High pops, but Monster High is dead now. It's in the lull. I always say that 
everything that comes out has a, a 20 year life cycle from when it's new and hot then like 10 years later it's kind of dead and not and then but then 10 years after that when it becomes vintage and everyone that grew up with it are now old enough to really be buying it then it starts selling for lots of higher prices so in 10 years monster high will be super hot in the markets but for now the girls that grew up with monster high or all the people that really collected at the time they're just not interested in it anymore so it's sitting like mattel doesn't make dolls for them anymore the values have kind of come down from their peak but honestly if you want to collect monster high right now is a great time because the prices are cheap 10 years from now they're going to spike back up still cool love it it will be for sale but i have a feeling it's going to sit around in my shop <laughs> okay next we have uh orvin scrivello dds from little shop of horrors i don't think i have this one yet very cool i think there's a few more i need from that set so i'm actually happy to get that uh next we have a dr willy from Mega Man. i don't think i have oh no i think i actually just got him in the trash lot a couple videos ago so I, I think I needed him, but I'm going to keep this one instead of the beat up one. So that's actually really cool. And most of these are in pretty good shape too. So this is, I'm happy about that. Uh, okay, we have a Peter Brady from the Brady Bunch. Cool, I don't have this one. Definitely keeping that one. I heard that there were some for sale for $2 at Barnes & Noble. I might actually go and try to finish the set if I can. Because $2 a pop is cheap. Okay, we have an Elliot Alderson from Mr. Robot. This is cool. I really love season one. Season two kind of lost me and I just never finished it. But he was really good in the show. So that one I do have. That will be going into the shop. Okay, we have uh, Zuko from Avatar, The Last Airbender. Pretty sure I have that one. Okay, next we have... Oh, we have a uh, Proto Man from Mega Man. He is cool. I don't think I have this one either. I think there's a couple of these that I needed. So if I don't have it, that's super awesome. I'm actually really happy that. That probably completes my set now. Oh, this one's cool. So we have a Hermione Granger from Harry Potter. It's a 2018 New York Comic Con exclusive. Very awesome pop. I do have that one already though. So that'll go into the shop. I'm sure it'll sell though. People love the Harry Potter ones. Uh, okay, we have another Zuko. So that's a duplicate. And we have a oh, third Zuko. <laughs> I, was there a chase? I don't know if he was going after a chase or he just had extras by mistake. Not sure on that. <laughs> It's okay though, they'll sell though, all the Avatar stuff. Okay, the most common item I get is the Enchantress. I get this way too often and I really don't, probably only give them a dollar for it. I mean, I sell maybe once every six months, but I buy probably 10 for everyone that sells. <laughs> It'll eventually have value. It just right now, no one wants it. Okay, this is cool. We had the Saw Guerrero Walmart exclusive from Star Wars Rogue One. Awesome character. I love the actor, Forrest Whitaker is really good. I have that one already though, so that'll be for sale. Uh, okay, we have a Mega Man again. We have a Firestorm Mega Man, a GameStop exclusive. He's very cool. I do have that one already, though. Okay, what we got? Oh. <laughs> you bought two boxes. That was the problem this year is every single box had these. So if you bought more than one box, you just got stuck with a lot of duplicates. Kind of sucks. Uh, okay, last pop in here is a cool pop. We have a Heifer from Rocco's Modern Life. Very cool. I'm pretty sure I had that one already, though, so that'll go into the shop. So that was a lot of pops. A lot of different small, you know, 5, 10... 20 pop trades i have a couple more videos coming up soon of bigger trades and then i'm hoping once i catch up on all this i get in the shop get some stuff selling i'll be looking for bigger collections pretty soon because i need to do another mega epic haul another big like two to four thousand dollar collection maybe i'm just in the mood <laughs> all right awesome i want to thank everyone that sold and traded pops to me in this video lots of awesome stuff i really appreciate it let me know in the comments below what your favorite pop was from this video. I want to thank my patrons for supporting my channel. With their help, I'm able to do more videos like this more often. If you want to help support my channel as well, I'll put a link to Patreon right there. If this is the first time watching my videos and you enjoy this mega epic Funko Pop haul, why don't you click the his face and subscribe? Why not? I want to make more videos like this just for you. I'm going to put a couple other mega epic Funko Pop hauls right there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.